So I have been wondering for a while, ever since Xenos 1080 beats the Snapdragon 865 Plus and N2 benchmark, my question is what about the battery life and I'm sure that many are having the same question and how much powerful its bigger brother Xenos 2100 will be that will be used in the S21 series. Well, Ice Universe has said the Exynos 2100 consumes 22% of battery life, while Exynos 990, which is used in S20 and Note 20 series, consumes 55%, which is a huge deal and a huge improvement. Going back to performance, we have got N2 benchmark for both Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 888. Thankfully, the score is almost identical. While last year, Xenos 990 was much behind than Snapdragon 865 Plus, with a different score of 133,000, which is a big disappointment as shown on this graph. The Snapdragon 888 wins by 16,000 score against Xenos 2100. It is decent, and we may see far greater improvements performance from Xenos 2100, as it is still in early stages. However, if you have noticed, the single and multi-core is higher than Snapdragon 888, which gives us higher hope that Exynos may surpass the Snapdragon. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, do like, subscribe, and comment below what kind of videos you want to see next or if you have any doubts and whatnot. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.